previously on Mud Monopoly. So we're gonna roll right now and we get five. Okay, I will definitely take that. We get five, so we land on any pack. And last pick, a big X. Oh, no, no way. Okay, we're in the same predicament we were last time. 10 yards away, Marlon Mack, get the run. Get the run, touchdown, that should be a touchdown. Let's go, let's go, 17-13 game. Second and two, I'm gonna send a blitz right here. Let's see if we can get the stop. Nope, and he's going to go for more than a first, and that is probably the game, oh my God. Did I have a chance? Yes, but at the same time, no. If you need fast, cheap, and reliable muck coins, make sure to check out rockbottomcoins.com and use code 407 for 15% off. And also, if you guys want to play in tournaments for cash prizes, make sure to check out Tony Crip and go sign up for a tournament. Welcome back to Mud Monopoly. This is episode number two. You guys seen in the previous episode that I did actually pull Kevin Green, which was insane. I pulled Kevin Green and it was insane. Unfortunately, I did lose the game if you guys didn't watch it. I hope you guys watch it so you guys see what happens. But it, I did put up a fight. I put up a fight. But I asked you guys if I should keep Kevin Green even though I lost. Or should I just put Pernell McPhee since I lost, I lose Kevin Green. And no one really answered. Only one person answered and he said I should keep him. But I'm going I'm to stay honest. I'm not going to keep him. I'm going to put Pernell McPhee back. So hopefully... Hopefully we get something good and hopefully we win this time around, but we're just going to get straight into it Last time we landed on any pack So we're at the fifth spot on the board and right now we have the dice and it says seven and or not seven and three It says four and three. I am going to roll it. Hopefully we can get a doubles If not, I'm hoping to get that elite card or maybe another any pack or community chest. I don't know Let's just roll the dice and see what we can get. So I'm going to roll it right now, and we are going to get eight. So we are going to land. Let me see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight. Let's go. We land on the team wheel. So I could pick any player from any team, but it has to be the player I like land on the team wheel. It's an 80 to 82 overall player only. So I am going to spin the wheel right now. Let me pull it up real quick. So here is the team wheel. We have all 32 teams right here. And I could pick any 80 to 82 overall just as long as they play for the team. So we're going to spin the wheel. Hopefully we get a good team. I don't know who we can get. Hopefully it's a quarterback though. That's all I'm hoping for to be honest. And we are going to land on the Chiefs. I do not know who 80 to 82 overall they have. So let's check who we could get. So I thought Tyron Matthew was a free safety for a second, and I have a 72 free safety, but I already have a strong safety as a matter of fact. So I think I'm actually going to go with Kendall Fuller. We're going to get the 80 overall cornerback. I checked out his stats. It's not the best, but he still has good zone coverage compared to Vernon uh, Hargraves. His speed isn't as fast as him, but it's not that big of a difference. But hopefully that man coverage can, uh, man and zone coverage could be huge for us. So I'm gonna pick up this Kendall Fuller. All right, so here we go. Here is the squad before we get into the game. We still have Ryan Tannehill at quarterback, which I'm not complaining because last game he played pretty well for a 74 card. And then the team's still the same. We just got a new uh, defensive player in Kendall Fuller. So hopefully he could help out just a little, even though the team's not great. Once again, I hope I don't get uh, matched up with a God Squad, but let's get into the game and see who we face. All right, so there is my opponent's top three. Once again, it's not the best, but it's still a pretty good top three, and there's my top three. I just hope we could actually win this game. The last game, I started with an RPO, and it worked. I got a touchdown first play, so I'm going to try it out. Alshon Jeffrey could possibly get open. How did I not get him? How did I not tackle him? So we're already down 8-0 though. Hopefully we can come back though. Square is going to be wide open. I'm throwing it right there to AJ Green and he has yards. Come on. Ooh. Okay, nice juke by AJ Green. I like it. Let's go. We need to score because obviously he already he's already on the board. At the 23, we're gonna run with Marlon Mack right here. Okay, we have the blocks. Okay, Marlon Mack with the first down. Nice, nice run. Let me know down in the comments below what is a good playbook playbook because I don't have a good playbook yet as I throw an interception to Deion Jones and we're throwing another pick six, it looks like. Sony Michelle, can you please catch up? 
Okay, he caught up, but we throw another pick. So already the, we're off to a bad start. Like we're off to a horrible start in this game early on. Third and 15 at the 34. This guy's running halfback wheel. Like I see it coming. Come on, pass it right here. Okay, who, he's probably going down the middle right here. I seen it coming, but he throws it too low. Fourth down, he's probably going to take us three points. He's probably going to fake it, to be honest. Yep, he's faking it. Come on, do not let him. And he's completing it. And he's completing it because I can't switch. For some reason, I can't switch to another player. I hate this game. Third and one, he has yet to complete a pass. Let's see. Okay, he's passing the ball. Can we get an interception? Okay, he's going to the outside right there. And we just missed the tackle. Right there, he's already up two possessions. Third and seven right here. We need to get a first down. I might, okay, our one's wide open and Ryan Tannehill just overthrows him. At the 49 yard line, this guy's only coming out one formation now. He's probably gonna go short right here. Nope, come on. Can we get a fumble? Can we force a fumble? And we do, can we stay? Of course, it's out of bounds. It's out of bounds and it's still his ball. Third and five right here. Can we get a stop? And he is going to get me blocked. I couldn't get there in time. Right here, Dalvin Cook. It's just, it's uneven teams. First and 10 right here. Let's see if we can force an interception. Let's see if we can finally force an interception. Look how slow I am compared to him. He goes to the middle to Zach Ertz right there. And he just, Zach Ertz, it's just a tank basically. All right, so we're down 22-0. If we can somehow make a comeback, that would clearly be amazing. Right here, X is wide open, and right. Ryan Tannehill went to having an amazing game for a gold card last game, and this game he just can't throw. Second and seven right here. Can we please get a stop? He's going right there. He still caught it. Fourth and one. He is going for it. Come on. Come on. And Dalvin Cook just gets the blocks. Oh, my God. Uh, it's gonna be a long time till we actually win a game and he's running a screenplay and he scores so not only did he just score but he also got the ball back because the quarter ended and uh, he I received in the first half and right here like I can't stop him like it's impossible here's another touchdown like this game is just over but goodbye Kendall Fuller the goal is just to at least get one point on the board and Ryan Tannehill, Alshon Jeffrey was clearly wide, butt naked open, and he throws it all the way to Ken Houston. And he catches it. Interception, could this be the first? Even with good coverage, this guy still makes an amazing play. Yeah, that's game over. We'll throw it up to Shannon Sharp. Ryan Tannehill just overthrows every single play. All right, so that was just a brutal loss. Uh, we put Vernon back in the in number one cornerback. I'm hoping next game, next game. I feel like next game is the game we're going to win. Hopefully. I hope we get something good and we just win because the team isn't looking too good. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video even though it wasn't anything crazy because I, I clearly couldn't even score. Like I felt like I was, I was playing, like I was the opponent in a solo battle and he was playing, a, not a solo battle, a ultimate challenge or a solo challenge and he was playing on arcade. He was just playing like, I don't know. You know what I'm trying to say. He looks like he was on arcade and he was just juking me, getting crazy catches, these X factors and all that. Ah, I don't know. But thank you guys for watching. I'll be posting the next episode soon. Have a great day. I wasn't happy with this episode.